In this video, we will show you how to rivet a timing chain for a Connect. engine 272 or a 273. Uh, we're gonna use the old chain we removed as a demonstration. Uh, and the tool we are using is, is from Tech KT3209, Mercedes timing chain disassembly tool. Uh, so in order to begin, First, take your assembly unit right here. This is what it's gonna look like in the box. And we're gonna to need to take the rivet pressing tool that's gonna to hold the chain in place to help us press in the uh, links. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna take this tool here, put it in like that, secure it at the base. Next, you're gonna take the centering fork that's gonna hold the chain in place while we're linking linking it and before putting in the uh, centering fork. What you're gonna have to make sure to do is to have another link that came with the piece to help hold it in place when you're gonna push it out and not bend the chain. So we're gonna do this. Take the chain, connect it through um, the centering fork, the first part of the chain. Your side. So we took the sliding fork and we moved it through the chain links. So we're going to take our here. Connect it in the center. Try to connect in the center since this is a hold this tool. Since um, this is a little bit cricket on my end here, I'm just going to take my pliers that go into the links right here. I'm just going to kind of push it so it's going to be easier for me to put it in. Didn't slip that way. No. Can you hold it back as well here? So we got it in. And now we're gonna try to connect these by lowering them down. Turn this so push this one a little bit out. So we push it a little bit out so we'll have room for this one to go in for those two pieces. And then we push it in completely. Okay, now I think I got it in there. So the centering fork is all the way in? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Next step, we're going to take the press fit center plate, which is this piece right here. Put it in here. This is what your second piece is supposed to look like. For Mercedes Benz. For Mer yeah, for the Mercedes Benz that you're gonna use to push through here and what's going to happen once we're pushing it through the plate that was holding it right here is going to be pushed out setting this one in place but for demonstration purposes because this is the old chain and we don't have a, another one we're just going to use a smaller connecting piece for just to demonstrate Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Yeah. Do I need to kind of lock it in? Mm -hmm. 
No, we haven't linked it. Okay. Moving good? No hesitation. No, давай ее полностью прогоним, может она сейчас a little bit locked. Because these guys are not with you. Oh, I you should have pushed put, it in more. Push it in more than that? Yeah. Maybe with this too? Mm -hmm. Just because you just need to push this pin in. Which you need to do. Just go in. Your chain should look like this now once you remove it from the assembly. It's movable. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna attach the back plate. Now that we have the chain moved aside, we're gonna replace the plate with the next assembly insert. The four millimeter. Here in the back. We're going to turn the chain 180 degrees. Place it here. millimeter this is magnetic and again we're gonna reuse the link from the old chain S secure it right there place this in here and then we'll start aligning it so we can see the holes matching up with our pins Mm -hmm. You see it? And now here is the Newton. M Newton meters are very important in this step. Okay. Yes. So we start pushing it until here. Until you see red. So, 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 so. If it's red, it means. So, so. Now we're at 32 meters. And in the next part, there's one more step, but let's just double check. What you're going to do is take the tool straight. So a 
again, the tool was like this. All you're gonna do is flip it. Here's the other hole, put it in here. And this little section right here, these little, the slit right there is gonna rivet each pin part. So you, you're gonna have to make sure to align the pin with the, I think it's the center. Yeah. You have to move it a little bit so that it rivets each pin. Yeah, you just, you just, uh, and it doesn't say you don't have to use any of anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Now shift it over. Yeah, push, yeah, push, yeah, green. Yeah, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. Maybe this one? You're not in it. Yeah, rivet the second pin. You don't have to do it too, like... Just double check if it's riveted. And so the riveting is essentially pressing in. It's gonna press them in just like the others. And it should hold the and what about the other side? Chain in place. That's it. You know, that's not, that's all you do. The other side was already done.